Neil, I still have to uh, uh, to mention it. So we should have been at them at least seven, <laughs> seven, not, not five. I, again, goals I, count as well. When, it's when true, they count. Eventually, they may, may come down to goal difference. You never know. But again, remember, um, Kenya was playing away. So to win, to notch a 5-0 score away from home is, is a good beginning. Kenya. When they come here... Can, then we can if, do if you beat can someone do five, we can beat them seven. That, that <laughs> argument is not washing. You, you uh, actually, Olunga should have had a hat trick. Let's really. leave that story yeah. alone. No, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on to the rising starlets. Uh, there's been a lot of action actually in Kenyan teams eh, in football, mm. and um, it, it's a good feeling when uh, your teams are now getting onto the field. The rising starlets were trying to qualify for the FIFA Under 20 Women's World Cup, but this was halted. They bowed out 2 6 on aggregate to Cameroon. Now, they had lost nil three in the first leg, and mm. then they lost uh, two, three two, three in, in, in the second leg. Yeah. What, what happened in that game? Do you have the details of that? Yeah, well, uh, you know, the first thing we must remember, and, and we had said this earlier, eight of their stars were out. Eight of the first team of, 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 uh, of the starlets. Why were, were doing they their, They were doing KCP. Oh, okay. Doing their KCP examinations. And that included uh, uh, Faith Naliaka. Remember, Faith Naliaka scored a hat-trick when they played against, uh, uh, I think it was Botswana before or Angola. I don't know who they played earlier in the, in the previous round. Here, really, the Cameroonians were just too physical for our girls, I think. No, this is the we same team that played in Cameroon as well. So, yeah. uh, uh, well, it could have been the fielding as well. They were a little bit superior, but that's a brilliant goal that was that's scored by the substitute who yes. came in and scored two goals immediately. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were um, uh, in 60th and uh, 62nd. No, no, it wasn't. It was Car uh, Charity Midewa. Super sub for the Starlet, scoring the 45th minute. That was on the first touch of the ball. Mm -hmm. And then she also scored a second goal, but that's the only ones. The Cameroonian captain scored three goals. Yep. The hat trick. And that is what sank the, the Kenyan side. So they bow out and um, th this, this will just make sure that the Cameroonians will be on course to try and qualify. They are supposed to play Egypt or Congo and to play in Bogota in, uh, in uh, Colombia in the 2024 Under-20 World Cup. But we must say to the Starlets, well done. You bow out gracefully. And uh, it's always a learning curve. I, I think, Bernard, um, in the next two years, we're going to have a very, very strong, t very strong side. When these girls come back from doing their exams, and I'm assuming they're about 17 now, so when they're 18 and 19 still playing for the under-20 side, they are going to be a very strong side, and that's going to be a feeder straight into the Well, the, the Cameroonians were, were tactical.